Na tukirejelea taarifa yetu kuu ni kwamba marehemu Charles Rubi ya mwanasiasa mkongwe aliyefahamika kwa utetezi wa siasa za vyama vingi nchini amezikwa leo nyumbani kwake ni ubunge la Kandara kaunti ya Muranga. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta alikuwa miongoni mwa waombolezaji waliofika kutoa heshima zao za mwisho kwa kiongozi huyo aliyemiminiwa sifa kuchokocho kwa jinsi alivyokuwa jasiri katika masuala ya kitaifa anavyoarifu Ibrahim Karanja. Safari ya mwenda zake Charles Wanyoike Rubia anahitajika kwa juhudi zake za kupigania demokrasia ya vyama vingi katika miaka ya tisini ilifikia ukingoni katika eneo bunge la Kandara kaunti ya Muranga katika hafla iliyoashiria kumsherehekea ya marehemu. Wanenaji kwenye mazishi hayo yaliyohudhuriwa na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta walikuwa na mambo ya kukumbuka uhai wa marehemu Rubia. This is we only beg you. We know it is difficult, but we want to beg you. If it's possible, out of court, try and see how we can how we can help Matiba family, Rubia family, because they really suffered. There are many ways we can be even be able as a country to say we are sorry. I don't believe it is compensation that is important. I think it is engaging the family and possibly as a government saying we are sorry for the things we did. There is one institution that has failed Rubia. Allow me to say it, the judiciary of the Republic of Kenya. It is only a judge who can do assessment of damages. It is only a judge who can say, okay, you, you suffer this kind of injuries, you are going to get this kind of money. So therefore, for me, the injustice has been visited by judiciary and your excellency. Please take action. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta alimwomboleza marehemu akiwataka viongozi kuiga sifa zake nzuri kwa manufaa ya taifa la Kenya. It is important the fear of the 90s does not clip into the, this particular era. I'm saying there are people who are starting to say there are threats, there are calls, there are what I think your excellency that cannot and should never be your legacy. And I think Rubia would want us to protect the space and democracy that was acquired. Kama just 10% ya viongozi wetu tungekua, tunamuka na kulala na hizo fikiria za patriotism, za kupenda inchi yako na za kujitolea kufanya taifaletu la Kenya kazi. Hii inchi ingekua inchi ingine. Na ningependa niseme, huo uhuru walipigania kwa second liberation tunausimamia kikamilifu. Kikamilifu. Na hakuna mtu ambaye amezuiwa kusema yale anataka kusema, atembee barabara, apige duru zake, aseme. Hata nasikia wengine wanatoka wanataka sasa kupanda ndege warudi waanze kusepo waendele hiyo ndiyo uhuru yao lakini ombi langu kwa hao ambao wanatafuta hii uhuru na ambao wako naye jameni tumieni huo uhuru kueneza amani na umoja kati ya wakenya tumieni huo uhuru kueneza na kupambana na vita kati ya ufisadi Tumieni huo uhuru kutafuta justice. Then we can say that that is the legacy that we are fighting for that was left for by these great old men who we are saying kwa heri tu. Aitha, Raisa liitumia fursa hiyo kwa kumbusha wa Kenya kuwa marehemu rubia, alitukia sana ufisadi na kuwa ni viema kwa oku fuata nyayo zake. Wakati Muranga County Council ilikuweko chini ya uongozi, wa wazee kama hao Muranga County Council kila mwaka ilikuwa inatoa pesa kwa sababu walikuwa na pesa zaidi ya matumizi yao ambazo walikuwa wana invest na serikali ya kitaifa kule Nairobi zilienda wapi eh do it we, hatupendi kujiuliza hii maswali pesa hiyo ilienda wapi kwa mifuko ya watu binafsi kwa mifuko ya watu binafsi 
Kwa mara nyingine tena wito kwa wanasiasa na wananchi kote nchini imekuwa ni kutojihusisha na siasa za malumbano na badala yake kutumia uhuru uliopo katika kuendeleza ajenda endelevu kwa wananchi. Ibrahim Karanja, KTN News.